And the man on the mound, the right-hander Aaron Sanchez. For Sanchez, this will be start number four. Comes in 0-1 at 2.45 ERA. So now Miguel Rojas to the plate for Miami in at 316. Five doubles, a triple. He's yet to homer this year. He's knocked in six. Now the pitch to Rojas, and that hits him right in the right in the back. And man, you could hear him kind of shout. And now he's looking out at Sanchez, and Sanchez comes down off the mound, and he's looking at Rojas. They're talking to each other. The umpire goes out, Jim Wolf, to try and make sure that they don't go after each other here. So right out of the shoot, the Marlins have a golden opportunity here in the first inning. Jesus Aguilar coming up. Sanchez pitching, Casale catching. And there's a swing and a bouncer right back to Sanchez. He's got it. The second one. Costello to first. Two, a double play. A one hopper right back to Sanchez. Over to third base goes Jazz Chisholm. And now an RBI shot for the Marlins leading RBI man, Adam Duval. He's knocked in 14 runs this season. Now the 2 0 pitch. Swing. There's a high drive into left center field, pretty deep. Back into his right, Slater onto the warning track and near the wall. He reaches up to make the catch, and the side is retired. That was back in the vicinity of the 399 marker out there, which is kind of a a graveyard for home run hitters. Duval is retired, and after a promising beginning, the Marlins come up empty. We go to the last of the first inning. And the man on the mound, the lefty, making his second start of the season. His second against the Giants, Dan Castano. Castano batting ninth. Two men on, two men out, and here comes Darren Ruff. Driven to left, and it's over the head of Dickerson. Coming in to score is Yastrzemski. Ruff's got a double. Longoria to third, Yastrzemski scoring, and the Giants have a run here in the first. And a one nothing lead and here is Kurt Casale to try and drive some more people in one and one to Kurt Casale who has power he's big and strong now the one one pitch Line drive base hit and it's kicked by Dickerson and that's going to allow Ruff to score three nothing now that's a first that is a first if I didn't know better I think that then bunny was fake. So you know what they do after Easter? They go to ball games. We just found that out. I, I, they got a rabbit. Yep. And it's not a small one either. That's a big fella. Let him run. Here's Flores. Castano, the 6'3, 234 pounder, looks in the 1 2 pitch, bounce right back to the pitcher. Castano has it. He'll flip the first base. Aguilar gets over to take the throw, and that's all for the Giants in the second. So this time, Castano can get that third out, and we'll head to the third. Giants lead 3 nothing. And up comes Adam Duvall, the former Giant who's really had an excellent career. He was, he was only a Giant briefly, was drafted by the Giants, developed by them, had great minor league numbers for the Giants, but was traded away 2-2 is strike three call he got him with the change up Duvall can't believe it two down second strikeout for Sanchez Casale out of Vanderbilt like his teammate Mike Yastrzemski they are two of 11 Vanderbilt Commodores who are on opening day major league rosters here in 2021 Vandy has more players on opening day rosters than any other college three and two and there's a called strike three have just clipped the inside corner. Well, it's 3 nothing, but maybe some concern is Evan Longoria is out of the game. And the Giants have moved a bunch of people around. Flores goes from first to third. Ruff goes from left to first. And Dickerson comes into the game. Welcome back. There is Alex the Greatest. Watch this. The owners or the parents or whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it want a ball. And, and Alex almost Alex is he says you don't want any part of this anymore. Yaz has ripped a double into the gap in right center and hit a hard ground ball to second. 2-2 two, two to Mike Yastrzemski. A little tap right in front of the plate. Wallach is on it quickly. Throws the first and they get the out that ends the inning. So the Giants get a man to second but leave him there. No runs, one hit, one error, one strand. It will go to the sixth. Very exciting moment here and we're hoping that Aaron Sanchez is fine. 
And I'm assuming he is. He looked great on the mound. Five scoreless innings. But now in the six he gives way to a young right-hander making his major league debut. He's got tremendous stuff. Gregory Santos who's never pitched in a game above a ball. And it's been a while even since that. But he's been pitching at the alternate site. Has made appearances in big league spring training games. Santos ready to go on the mound for the Giants. As now we're going to get a pinch hitter for the Marlins. And Magnaris Sierra is going to hit for Castano. So his night's going to be over as well. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Slider struck him out looking. And then Casale tosses that ball over to the Giants' dugout to be put in a safe place as a memento for Gregory Santos. He strikes out the first batter that he faces in the big leagues. Chisholm is single in the first, a fly ball to the left in the third. 0 2 pitch. He struck him out swinging. And a mighty cut by Jazz Chisholm on a Really nasty slider that broke down and in and well out of the strike zone. We got some word on why Evan Longoria left the game, which and it's not good, but also doesn't sound like it's terrible. But one of those things, it's a little too early to tell whether it's terrible or not. Tight left hamstring, so not strained or pulled, just tight. And I think on a cold night, it's not that surprising that maybe you'd have some muscle tightness. And when it's a hamstring, you got to be really careful. So you can see why the Giants pulled him from the game. All right, here we go. Ninth inning. Jake McGee, who has served very ably as the Giants' closer this year. Jake McGee out of the bullpen. And here is Miguel Rojas. Got him, and that's the ball game. McGee strikes out the side, and Casale, what does he do? He catches another shutout. That's five in a row for the Giants backup catcher. So congratulations. Well, that's a remarkable accomplishment, but it gives you an idea of the kind of confidence that this Giants staff has in Casale. So for the Giants, they do all the damage in the first inning. And it was Casale who had really the biggest hit of the game. We knocked in two runs. So on Kurt Casale night, Giants take the opener here against the Marlins. 